Hey guys, it's your girl Onana, and I welcome you all to Onana Nation. So, if it is your first time on this channel, I welcome you. Please go ahead and subscribe as we dive into today's topic. So, today we're actually going to talk about this cheating case that happened in Boya, the southwest region of Cameroon. So, there's this young lady, she walked into a restaurant and she discovered her man having lunch with some other girl. So, the young lady just discovers that, oh my god, this guy is cheating on me with this other girl. So, she starts making a scene, starts scattering things in the restaurant like, are you for real? You left me at home all day to come be with this girl. I'm going to stop talking now so you guys can watch the video and then we're going to come back later. Later to analyze it. You went to bed. You leave me for half six morning for candle with this cheap prostitute. So I'm not all the four body folks are not satisfied. I don't know. So the first thing that is pinning me in this video is the disrespect though. The disrespect. Because you come and meet your boyfriend cheating on you with some other girl and then instead for the boy to start begging you, baby, it's not what you think, it's the devil's work. Cool. Blame the devil, that's what guys do. Just find a way to excuse yourself. I'm sorry, it's not what you think, it's not what it seems, you know, this will never happen again. Blame the devil and apologize and then calm the situation. So that's what I was expecting this guy to do for where? He pulled the side chick behind him, protecting the side chick and castigating the girlfriend right in front of her eyes. So instead for you to just send the child chick away, like go away, go away, you are the devil's work, don't tempt me, this is my bae, take your baby and go home and shame the devil. No, our brother put the side chick behind him, protecting her and defending her. So if I'm the main chick here, this is a clear message she's giving you, sorry ma'am, you're not the main chick here, I'm not defending you, I'm not protecting you, she's the one I want to be with. So who are you fighting for at the end of the day? It's not worth it. You're fighting for a guy who will not put you first, who will not prioritize you, who is cheating on you as a matter of fact. So the moment he walks out of the relationship is the moment you let him go. What are you fighting for? And the second thing I noticed about this video was like, pay attention to the fact that she pulls her boyfriend first. She, she starts talking to him first. She gave him a hot slap and then she poured juice on him as it should be. So many ladies, when they see their guys cheating on them, they start attacking the other girl. Uh-uh. She does not owe you anything. He's the one who went and looked for her. He's the one who went hustling. He's the one who went haunting and he found her. So if she has nothing to do with you, she owes you nothing tackle it with the man so i like it when she gave him a slap and he was like you slapped me uh-huh solve it with him the other girl is not your problem he's the one who left you home all day to come be with her so moving on to the third point and the reason why this video really went viral was the fact that this girl told the guy after all the love making i'm giving you after all the satisfaction in the bedroom you're still out here looking for girls really so that was the statement the girl made she said after everything i do for you like in the bedroom take care of your needs you know you'll see out here looking for other ladies so this is the part of the video that has made this video go viral this is the reason why why everybody is talking about this video today so people are insulting this girl that you are never ashamed a big girl like you all you have to be proud of is the fact that you know how to make love all you have as your cv is love making are you not ashamed your mates are having jobs all you're doing is bragging about how well you are in the bedroom so people are insulting the girl that why are you not out here talking about like your qualifications and everything and now i'm just here like first of all you guys need to hold up you guys need to cool up for jesus first of all the fact that you catch somebody cheating on you you have like 1000 emotions running through your veins you have like adrenaline pumping up your whole body you are freaking out you're thinking oh my god is he really doing this to me is this really happening you have like a split second to make a decision what am i going to do what am i going to do there's like 1000 ideas running through your head this guy is really cheating on me really am i really standing in front of him right now cheating on me with another girl what am i going to do so the girl was like panicking like what is happening it's first of all like a dream to catch somebody cheating on you is like a dream because you never imagine things like this will ever happen to you so that lady was having adrenaline pumping through her body she was thinking what can i say what can i do the first thing that could come out of her mouth was after all the love making i'm giving you after all the satisfaction i'm giving you you're still out here looking for young girls really you're still out here looking for other girls so that's the only thing that could come out of her mouth at that point in time it doesn't mean she's not educated it doesn't mean she doesn't have a job it has nothing to do with her life she was just put on the spot you know when something happens to you on the spot you're thinking there's like 1000 i just flooding through your mind you don't know what to say exactly that was just the first thing that happened to come out of her mouth it doesn't mean this guy is lazy it doesn't mean she's uneducated so you guys should cool up for jesus she could be a manager at a firm somewhere you don't know her she could be a hard-working lady you don't know her there's so many other things she has to offer the man if she's out here beating her chest about her love making it's because she knows she is good in that domain and that's the first thing that 
that came to mind you guys know nothing about her so i'm just here thinking like imagining another scenario where this girl walked into that restaurant and saw her boyfriend cheating on her if the girl would have been like you're cheating on me with this girl a whole me a whole manager at sonara a whole manager at dangote cement are you for real so the story on facebook today would have been and so then they did brag now i can't get them or they call themselves career women independent woman or more independence see the way she's talking to the man it means she's the one giving him money she's the one controlling him that's why i had the man no go cheat so you cannot please people if she would have said a hey, a whole me a whole manager it would have been a whole different story now so then they proud get them that can't get enough ever respect man and now why that the boy did cheat on him but because she said a whole me with all my love making skills why are you still out here cheating on me today not a different story so the world of today women cannot win anyhow you do you go left you go right you can never win so today i'm here to give you guys news news flash you can never keep a man a man that will stay is the one that wants to stay a man that you can keep is the one that wants to be kept if you like you do monkey style you do antelope style if he wants to go he will still go so there's no telling that this girl is not doing all these things for him men of today it's just it's just the grace of god for you to find the right one the one that will love you and respect you because men most men are come very like most men as come very few of them are dedicated very few of them are passionate lovers that really respect women very few of them most men as come so you will cook for them or you will cook at you on monday cook dole on tuesday kati kati on wednesday ekwang on thursday you like you greater all your finger don't talk koko yam greater <laughs> say they make ekwang for b if he wants to cheat he will still cheat you can be the most hard-working woman the most like decorated career woman you can be a pilot you can do everything you want to do they will still accuse you that you are not at home to take care of your man you can be a housewife you stay at home that okay when i'm working the same career woman you can stay at home just to be cooking 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 they will still complain you can stay at home just to be washing his pants and, and ironing, ironing them they will still complain so if you have a good man that's a good one just take good care of him and treat him right because real men today like kind men faithful men nice men they really hard to come by if you have a nice man a nice guy in your life who gets you who respects you you know do your best to take good care of him because bad ones are too many out here the real story out here should have been a boy cheating on his girlfriend but eh -eh, we are looking at a girl who said that all oh, the love making i'm giving that's the version of the story we're hearing today all oh, the love making and all that would hear today instead of the real criminal here who is making two women to be at loggerheads instead of picking one and staying with her and staying peacefully and then he's disrespecting the girl again pulling his side chick behind him protecting her but the real story we're hearing today is because she said after all the love making that's not the story here the story here is a cheating man a lying man is scum making two women to be fighting each other for nothing it's just terrible so if you have a nice man in your life just love him and take good care of him i beg you my sisters because uh, this outside safe uh, mm -mm. i don't know what men are looking at out here after everything you do they'll still be doing their own the grace of god will cover us so it is well <laughs> <laughs> all right so i guess i've spoken too much thank you guys a lot for watching i remain your girl onana if you're new here please subscribe because you're definitely going to love it here on this channel we talk all things entertainment we talk about african recipes and we do lifestyle so leave me comments below what you think about the topic what you think about the video i love you guys stay safe see you guys next time goodbye see some asmonga now some asmonga this is the chop yeah so boy see some asmonga the big chop for yeah boy I don't think access to those SAD limbs, and then that's all catchy.